What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ride or Die Canines. So today I'm over here at Titletown Bully Camp in Boston. I had to come see these guys for myself. You know, we were just here a couple weeks ago talking about the breeding that was going to be here. And it's here guys. So we only got two males off this litter. And I think everybody that's been following along for, for a while can recognize these two dogs right here. So these are the two males. Both of these males are spoken for. Um, we don't know which is going where yet because first pick Mike First pick has not chosen his spot. Uh, he has not chosen which dog he'd like yet. So Mike Letting you check these out See what you like right here. We got a little little Odin clone and right over here We got a little clone of Rocky. So if you guys are in the Facebook group you guys can check both of those dogs out This is exactly what they looked like at that age. I mean color markings size the whole, the whole nine is, is all here. I'm going to set one of them down and show you guys. Let you check them out here. I mean, this is just the perfect blend. The, the results are almost exactly the same. You know, except we got six males and two ma uh, six females and two males this time. Check out that nice boxy chest on them. It's going to have a big old noggin on them. Nice paws already. You can see that front arm proportional. You can just tell this is going to be a nice big dog. Girthy, only eight days old, guys. Nice muzzle. Eyes are just getting ready to open. They're not open yet, but they will be very, very soon. We just got done doing the early neurological stimulation with them, so they might be a little fussy. Got little Odin Jr. here. I don't know if you guys named him yet or not. No? But uh, I'm just, for now, I'm just calling him little Odin Jr. because that's exactly what I'm seeing right in front of my own eyes. Wow. I'll link some of the videos that we did last time we did this litter of them at this age as well so you can kind of get a comparison for yourselves so you just don't go off what I'm saying. As you can see here, and, and one thing I noticed right off the rip is, um, you know, this dog, he looks like he's got a little little head on him too in the moment. And I remember when I was taking Odin to the vet when he was about six months old for updates and shots and stuff like that. I remember the vet telling me, oh man, you know, he's got a little head, the rest of his body's big, but his head's just not catching up with him. I remember being pretty concerned about it. I got self-conscious, thinking that, you know, I didn't do, do the right thing, you know, breeding-wise, to get the perfect proportions on the dog. And if you guys go check out Odin's head now, I mean, that thing's bigger than Prince's almost. I gotta say, it might be bigger than Prince's. He's got a big old head on him. Bam's got a big head on her, too. So those are the two males. And I'm going to pick the females up now in no particular order, guys. No particular order. We do have two females available. One of them is, um, is, we're pretty sure one of them is picked right now. But as far as everybody else, no picks have been made. So we're going to have two females available. We cannot tell you guys which ones are going to be. Um, uh, one of these is going to be staying at Titletown Bullies Camp just for future breeding stock. And we have to make sure we give uh, enough time to make sure that the right dog and the right female is being picked out for that. So this is the first little female here. This little girl reminds me a lot of Miss Envy already over at Family First. Check her out, guys. That nice blue brindle on her. Check out that chest. She's going to have a little bit longer of a muzzle on her, maybe. So that's all right. That's all right because she's going to make up for it with everything else. Everything else is going to be there. Nice tail. Nice big paws on her already. That boxy chest. Nice straight back legs there. The hawks aren't even looking bad. Even at this age you can tell everything's very, very nice and proportional. So eight days old, guys. Oh, I one here. Female number two. A little clone of that one. Man, there's going to be a lot of little envies in here. Those ones with twins, they came out at the same time. Yeah. Right. So you got little twins here. 40 seconds apart. 40 seconds apart, guys. Check her out. Nice, nice chest. Every single one of them's got that, just that big boxy chest. I love the BAMs. You guys got to go check pictures of BAMs out. I'll, I'll probably actually throw the picture I'm talking about on the thumbnail of this video. But she is just wide as a Mack truck, guys. Check her out. So cool and chill already. I mean, this is the attitude they're going to have when you get them home at 8, 10 weeks old, whatever that may be. She's literally falling asleep right on my finger. All right, so female number two. Oh, here's a little triplet. 
Female number three. Check this girl out. She is gonna be girthy. Look at that. Look at how wide she already is, guys. Little fat bellies. Do you see their reflexes, all their all their little nerves are working just right. That early neurological stimulation is is really firing up their central nervous system. It's a good way to check. You hold them like that and they shoot their arms out. Everything's everything's happening in the time it's supposed to. Oh, are you fussy? Are you fussy? They're probably getting hungry. We're gonna have to go get bams and let them eat a little bit. Check her out. Check that muzzle out on her, guys. Boxy head. She is perfect. She is perfect. This might be the one you want to keep right here. We'll see. A lot can change. A lot's gonna change in the next couple of weeks, guys. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, pick anybody specific yet. Count it or count anybody out. And this is little homegirl. Little homegirl. She's our little run out of this litter. And I know you guys, I know you guys seen Rufus. She does have a little bit of a kink tail here. She's a lot like Spike in that way. But I would not count her out, guys. If you are looking for a great American bully pet, this little girl is going to be everything everybody else is going to be, if not better. Like I said, I'm going to also, I'm going to make sure I link Rufus's updated video uh, in the description to this. You guys need to go check him out. Uh, when Rufus was eight weeks old, ten weeks old, he was about the size of his litter mate's heads. Uh, his ribs were hanging out. I was taking him to the vet all the time because I thought there had to be something wrong with this dog. I've never experienced something that j he looked malnutrition. Every time I took him, the vet said, "There's absolutely nothing wrong with him. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. He's just got a slower growth hormone development." And I be I should have believed him. So we sent Rufus home with Billy in New York. Rufus has got to be one of the best looking males out of that litter. He gives each one of those dogs that, uh, that he was born with a run for their money. I mean, he's got a huge head on him now, a nice solid uh, square chest, even top line. He's perfect and he's got drive for days. Dog goes out and hunts his own food and catches fish out of the pond, chases geese. I mean, he's living an amazing life. As you can see here, her features are actually exaggerated on this small little frame here. Nice short muzzle here. She's gonna be an absolute beast, guys. So do not count her out. If you're interested in her, make sure you get a hold of me. It could be because she may be available. This is the one female here I believe is spoken for. Shaclona Bambi. Nobody wants to lose that look. In my opinion, Bambi is one of the nicest female American bullies that has existed in her in her class. And uh, I wouldn't change anything about her. I think this is exactly what she's going to be right here, too. She already got that big old head on her, perfect muzzle. I like that white ring on the back of her. She's got that Royce and Bams brindle coat. Just an absolute beautiful girl here. We got one more here. This last little girl. Oh, sorry, girl. Check her out. I mean, consistent all around, guys, with the females. Not much more I could say about her that I haven't said about all the other ones. I mean, they're all just little puppy perfection right here. The best part about, uh, you know, getting a dog off one of the, you know, off of this litter right here is that you could already go back and see the results. Nova, which is the other female that we had bred to Prince that she didn't take. You guys go back and uh, look at that video that we just posted. Nova was out of this exact breeding. She was out of the last time we did this, I think two years ago. And uh, I mean, guys, what would you change about Nova? She's an absolute beast in herself. You look at her from the front, you think you're seeing Royce. You look at her from the side, you can't tell the difference between her and Bambi. I mean, she's a perfect, perfect blend. I don't know what more you could really ask for. All these dogs have absolutely perfect temperaments. They have nice drive. So if you're the type of person that wants to get up and go on, on a hike or go out and do stuff every day, they're gonna do that with you. If you wanna just sit at home, hang out on the couch with the kids, watch TV, they're gonna do that with you. So go ahead and get a hold of me if you guys are interested in one of these girls. We do have two females available. Again, I don't know which two they're gonna be. We're gonna give everybody a few weeks to make their picks. We don't wanna rush anyone's decision because what you're seeing right now, proportionally, is not what they're gonna be in, in a few weeks. That little runt could be head of the pack by the time they go home. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share these videos. 
And uh, for puppy availability, go ahead and contact me at 440-231-2334. Have a good one.